everyone welcome to my channel so today I'm going to be talking about the maintenance of natural hair on a budget so I'm just gonna give you a few tips on how you can take care of your hair and make sure that your hair looks beautiful and make sure that your hair um, is healthy and it grows so I'm um, gonna give you tips on how you can do that on a budget because you guys know that we have a lot of problems like as black kids we've got black tags uh, some of us are students so we have to make sure that we live on a budget and some of us um, have an SFAS to pay back so we have a lot of problems guys so that's why we have to always make sure that we don't rip ourselves off money uh, because of you know having to maintain hair and the pressure of seeing all the expensive products we see from um, people and stores so the first tip first tip is buy the essentials so by buying the essentials I mean that you should uh, look for um, products that um, look for products that um, basic to your natural hair health and growth so basically by that I mean um, have a shampoo um, have a have a shampoo have a um, um, a conditioner like a conditioner that you can use after wash or for co for your co-wash and have a um, have a uh, deep conditioner if you are a person that likes uh, using leave-in conditioners you can get yourself a leave-in conditioner as well secondly um, have a um, get yourself a um, hair moisturizer or maybe get yourself a uh, a cream if it depends on you what you prefer preferring to use leave-in conditioner moisturizer or a cream and then have it an oil or different oils of your choice you don't necessarily to have to buy pre-mixed oils you can literally buy an oil that is not yet mixed and make your own mixture and yeah and water is very ex important one of the things that I do in my my natural hair regimen is I use lots and lots of water. As a result, um, one of my products, I'm sure you've heard me talking about it a lot, starts off between one. Sorry, I don't use it on its own. So I always mix it with water. And as a result, it lasts way longer than um, if it would if I just um, used it on its own so it depends though on what you prefer in that case you don't always have to mix your products with water and all that stuff but that's how i prefer to use the product uh the second tip is to shop around so by shopping around i mean that don't go to a store i'm not gonna name any store name I'm just gonna say don't go to a store like your your local vendor and decide okay you know what I'm buying whatever it is that they have here look around look at other places that sell this exact same price uh, project uh, product and compare the prices so uh, like for example you may go to a store and you find that they sell a product at 20 rands and you go to another store and you find that they sell the exact same uh, product at 15 rands trust me guys that five rands is very important and that is one of the things that we we, we tend to take for granted when when looking at things that one five rands is very important if you buy a collection of products and they are also they are all five rands extra think about that money Think about all those five friends how much money will those five friends make you know so yeah that's one of the most important things shop around check online as well hey so you will find that uh, there are products that 
you can buy in a store and they are very expensive in a store but if you buy them online they are way cheaper than um, buying them in your local vendor so check online compare the cost always compare the costs like that is very very important um, step number three step number three is DIY DIY but meaning do it yourself so by doing it yourself what I, I'm what I mean is that uh, like for example if you know you can braid your own hair on your own you don't have to go to a salon darling do it yourself braid your own hair and go out there and show it out or you, if you know you can wash your hair on your own you don't necessarily have to go to a salon wash your in fact it's way better to wash your own hair than going to a salon because you know your hair better and you know exactly what needs to be done for your hair to come out perfectly like you can actually take care of your hair properly i've had very bad experiences with salons so i really really don't like um salons especially salons that are not natural hair based like salons that uh do not take care of do not know how to take care of natural hair i'm not saying it's wrong to go to a salon but if you feel that you know how to do something i know sometimes you tend to be lazy and all that stuff but trust me it is worth it for your own health growth and for your own uh money save your money okay yeah so the other thing that you can do in your diy like the products you can make your own mixture like i I've, I've 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 found that there are a lot of like looking around stores there are a lot of hair spritz recently and a hair spritz is something you can make on your own so you can just mix water and maybe aloe vera juice oils and whatever and you can have you can come up with your own hairsprays. Trust me, guys, like water is free unless, of course, you live in an area where um, your water isn't in a good condition or in a healthy condition that you should also be mindful of. But water is free. So take the water that you drink, put it into a bottle, mix it with your products like your conditioner, your your oils and all that stuff you don't necessarily have to go buy a hair spritz not that um 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 i'm um, um, sabotaging any 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 uh brands or anything like that but honestly speaking if you can do it yourself why not but then again if you think you want to go and buy uh, things like hair spritz and all that stuff you can so yeah like even mixture of oils for example you if you feel that it is very expensive to buy a readily mixed uh, uh, uh oil blend why not do it yourself take oils and blend them together and yeah that's it so yeah do it yourself guys like if you know you can do it and then the fourth step is recycle guys i always talk about this recycling is one of the best things to save your money okay so you know most when you buy um products they come in containers and stuff you don't always have to throw those containers away no one is gonna ask you why is there a product that is not the same brand in a specific container no, if you make something on your own, like for example, your your oil mixture, you can always use an old bottle that um, you could have thrown away. Uh, you can, for your hair spritz, you can always use an old spray bottle and, 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 and make your hair spritz. And uh, yeah, so yeah, like the other thing that I like, um, I like shower caps, for example, I always used to lose my shower caps to an extent that i realized guys you know what i'm wasting my money here so why not just use a plastic bag that i was gonna throw away probably throw away so i always use plastic bags for my like for example when i deep condition my hair 
I always use plastic bags, cover my head with a plastic bag and then wear a duke on top of that plastic bag. And it works wonders. So I don't have to buy shower caps anymore. And yeah, the other thing, you can use the kitchen essentials, guys. Like you can use the avocado in your in your in your in your kitchen. Like I'm not saying you should though, because I don't use avocados on my hair. Like I've had a very bad experience with that. But yeah, if it's something that works for you, you can use the avocado in your kitchen. You can use the banana in your kitchen. You can use the olive oil in your kitchen. Things like that. Those are the things that you can take together and maybe mix it together. Make your own conditioner. That you sometimes you want to dip conditioner in hair and you don't have any dip conditioner. So why not check in your kitchen if there isn't something that you can use? Take that, mix it together, mix the products to anything that you have in the kitchen together. And yeah, if it's something that is good, like natural products that you can use on your hair, why not use it? So yeah, and then the other thing uh, that, or oh, step five. Step five, always look for freebies. So by this is, I mean, sometimes you will find that there are a lot of people that have the specific competitions uh, online like on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube where you can enter a competition for like for, to get a goodie bag for example with natural hair products or anything like that uh, so what you should do always enter those competitions it will save you money they are free to enter and all that stuff you just need to maybe share or whatever that's not difficult guys like share you share for free so why not enter the competition you're not gonna pay imagine entering a competition that gives you a hamper from dark and lovely or whatever um a full hamper trust me that hamper will probably cost like maybe around 300 brands and you can save 300 brands on products that you can use for months you know so yeah always look for freebies the other thing is going to attending the natural hair events so you'd all find that there are these natural hair events where they would say maybe a ticket is 100 rands and then um you will go to you buy the ticket you go to the event and then uh you will get a goodie bag and you find that in those goodie bags the products that are in there are cost like way more than a hundred brands actually so you get this products basically for free not not for free but at a way cheaper price because most of these those events are sponsored by specific brands so yeah you can do that and then um yeah that's one of the things that you can do and it it, it works wonders you can save a lot of money with that always look up for look out for those and yeah the other thing number step number six is live within your means so by living within your means i mean uh you don't necessarily have to buy expensive products just because people are advertising expensive products there or just because your friend is using an expensive product does not mean that you necessarily have to use that product use what works for you there are way cheaper products that work that work wonders in fact way better than products that 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 are that are, that are expensive so why not use um sorry why not use a cheaper product and save yourself money solve yourself money enough money to buy something else that you might have needed you know so yeah live within your means don't buy expensive stuff just because the other person has these expensive uh, products or uh, tools and all that stuff and the other thing always save save for a thing that you want let's say for instance you want specific protective style save for it you don't necessarily have to go for it immediately so if you, you're willing to wait trust me you will reap 
good benefits in terms of saving your money so save 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 and then the other thing is that you must always budget so don't just go to a specific um, store f looking for one uh, product and then you get there and then there's a uh, there's a sale for example and they there's like club maybe a buy two get one free if you haven't saved for the second product why are you buying it if you haven't if you the second product was not on your budget why are you buying it do you necessarily have to do this unless of course you had planned to go to the store to look for the sale because it was part of your budget you understand so always make sure that you keep everything on budget and make your natural hair journey easier and that way you will reap uh, positive results you will um, not find natural hair frustrating and expensive trust me maintaining natural hair isn't as expensive as people make it i feel like water and then oil and oil and my stuff of two in one are like the best three things that i need to maintain my natural hair throughout the whole year so yeah like you don't necessarily have to spend a lot uh, and yeah, I feel like I'm rumbling right now, but I'm hoping that this video was highly helpful and Yeah, I'm hoping that you learned a lot and I'm hoping that you will if you were a person that was spending a lot of money um, On your hair living beyond your means you have learned a lot and you are willing to change your ways so yeah, and um if you liked this video please click the like button down below uh, please comment and tell me what it is that you do to 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 save or for, for to save your money from being ripped off by the natural hair journey so yeah let me know what you think and let me know what what you do and here yeah, and also guys please don't forget to click the subscribe button below please 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 share the videos and yeah let your friends know let your friends of friends let your friends to tell their friends to click on that subscribe button it's free guys please thank you so much Mwah.